All right, kiddos, here we go. So today we are learning how to compare two groups of coins to decide which one is greater and which one is less. Remember, greater means bigger and less means smaller. All right, here we go. So we are going to decide which one of these groups is bigger. So remember that a nickel that's the, the medium-sized silver one, and it is worth five cents. So we know that it's worth five cents. Remember, we write the cent sign as a C with a line through it. And two pennies. Remember, each of these is worth one cent. One cent, one cent. When we count pennies, we count on by ones. But we can jump right on to five because we know that a nickel is five. So we know that five, now we can count on six cents, seven cents across the top and down from heaven. That is how we make a seven. Now we know that in all, we have seven cents here because we started with five. We can just jump to five, then we count on by ones, six cents, seven cents. So in all, we have seven cents. All right. Then we go down here and we have a dime. And we know that when we see a dime, remember that's the small silver one, that we can just jump right on to 10. We know that. We can just jump right on to 10. We don't have to count by ones. We know that a dime's worth 10 cents. And then again with the pennies, we count by one. So we'll go on, we'll say 11 cents, 12 cents. Because we know that we jump right to 10, we count on 11, 12, and in all we have 12 cents. Remember a cent sign is a C with a line through it. We know that. Okay, so first we had seven cents, and then we had 12 cents. Now we're gonna ask the question, which group of coins has the greater amount? Remember the bigger amount. Which one has more money? So let's say that you had a nickel and two pennies. So you had seven cents. And I had a dime and two pennies. I had 12 cents. Who has more money? Well, we would say that I have more money because 12 is bigger than seven. Friends, today when you're looking at this, you don't wanna look at who has more coins because look, we have one, two, three coins and one, two, three coins. We have the same amount of coins. But a dime is 10 and a nickel is five. So we would say that 12 is greater than seven. That means that I have more money. So you need to count all the money on both rows, then decide who has more. All right, let's move on. So let's do the same thing. So here is a quarter. Now, a quarter, if you remember, is worth 25 cents. Twenty-five cents. We know that. We don't have to count by ones. We can just jump right on to say twenty-five cents. And we know that a dime is worth ten cents. So now we ask the question, which group of coins has the greater amount? Which one has the greater amount? Well, we know, we're gonna ask ourselves, which one is bigger, 25 or 10? Which one is bigger? We know that 25 is bigger, it's a bigger number. And let's think about this. It has two groups of 10 and five ones two groups of 10. 
But 10 only has one group of 10. So we know that 25 is greater than, that means it's bigger than 10. So we can choose 25 cents. All right. Now, if we are looking at our um, pages, so that's what we just said. We just said 25 cents is greater than 10 cents. That means it's bigger than, it's bigger than 10 cents. We're going to look at the next one now. Let's see, I have three pennies. And remember, when we count in pennies, we have to count by one. So we see one cent, two cents, three cents. So we see that three pennies, that is three cents in all. That means all together we have three cents. And we know that because of pennies, remember, we count by ones. This is a nickel. But with a nickel, do we have to count by ones? No way, Jose. With a nickel, we can count by fives. And we know that that is five cents. We know that one nickel is five cents. So now we're, now we're going to ask ourselves, well, is three cents or five cents bigger? Which one is the greater amount? We're going to ask ourselves, which group of coins has the greater amount? Which one is bigger? Is five bigger or is three bigger? Well, five is bigger, so we will circle that. Remember, friends, don't look at how many coins, because here there's three coins. But wait. We only count by ones for pennies, so it's only three cents. With nickels, we can count by five. So even though there's only one of them, there's more money because this is five. This is a group of five. This is only a group of one. All right, sweet friends, here we go. So today, you have to do this. So once again, just like what we were doing, you were telling me how much in each group. So this is a dime, 10 cents. This is a nickel, five cents, and you need to circle the bigger group. So the dime is bigger than the nickel. It has 10 cents, and 10 is bigger than five. So you do that for all of those. Then on the back, same thing. Okay, so this is a dime, so we see 10 cents. This is a dime and a penny. Now, when we do that, we know we start with the bigger number, 10, and we count on 11. So we know that's 11 cents, a dime and a penny, 11 cents. And we are asking for you to circle the amount that is less, so that is smaller. On the back, on the front you're circling the bigger number, on the back you circle the smaller number, the smaller number. And the directions are right here. If you forget, that's okay because you can ask your mommy or your daddy or your brother or your sister to read you the instructions. On the clover row, you're circling the bigger number. Then you need to do this. So it's gonna tell you this is one cent. Well, if it's only one cent, what do we need? We need one penny. You're gonna cut and paste. This is in your binder. Then, right here, so for the ducky and the heart row, you're circling the one that's bigger. Same thing we've been doing. For the clover row, you're circling the smaller one. All right, friends, good luck. Remember to count how much money you have, not to count how many coins. Count how much money. All right, have fun.